Hello, my name is Andrew Ald of PTFS Europe, and I'm going to give you a quick demo of Metabase. So Metabase is an open source business analytics tool that lets you ask questions of your data and display the answers in a range of different formats. It has a principle of allowing you to show those queries and visualizations on dashboards like this one here, or sending reports regularly to you by email or to Slack. Let's take a look at this dashboard then. This is themed around our library catalog. And you can see uh, that there are a number of different ways you can display queries. That's a pie chart, there are bar charts, simple numeric displays, tables, and line charts and a number of different other visualizations. And you can collect them all together on a dashboard like this and share them within your organization with other Metabase users or even externally via public uh, URLs. You can also note from this that um, we're pulling on two different databases. This particular pie chart here comes from our full COA database, whereas this one here comes from our Coral ERM database. And Metabase supports 13 different database types, including MySQL, MongoDB, and BigQuery. Now to create a query, you do something in Metabase called ask a question. And there are three different ways you can do this. The first is via a simple question. First of all, you select the database you're interested in, and then I'm gonna choose the table within that database, the issues table, and uh, it's gonna ask me which uh, uh, dashboard I'd like to add this question to, but I'll, I'll do that later. Um, I'm going to apply a filter to the, uh, to the data by the issue date. And I'm going to say I'm interested in issues within the last 90 days, and let's include today, why not? Add that filter to the data. And then I'm going to summarize the data via, by uh, branch code. Uh, it's chosen to display that as a bar chart but I'm actually going to select instead a pie chart. So I've got issues within the last 90 days by branch, and I'm gonna save that question. We'll leave it with the name, or actually why not give it a better name, issues in 90 days by branch. And I'm gonna save that. You could save it to a shared collection, but I'm gonna save it to my personal collection. And it's probably going to ask me yeah, if I'd like to add it to a dashboard. So again, I'll add it to my test dashboard. And this is a couple of items I added already. But uh, there's the uh, pie chart I've just created. I'm going to just expand it a bit to give it a bit more um, uh, space. Uh, and then I'll save that dashboard. The other two ways of asking questions are uh, either via a custom question, which is basically similar to the simple question, but allows you to join tables together and apply complex filtering and aggregation and also custom columns. Or you could also write your own SQL or paste SQL in from reports that you've already created elsewhere. So in this case, I'm going to, again, take the data from the COA uh, database um, and I'm just going to copy the SQL from a, an existing COA report. So I popped over into COA. I'm going to select that, ish, that SQL from this holds to pull uh, report. And then I'm going to paste that over into Metabase and run that. And you can see it's pulled in some data there. There are a couple of holds to pull at the moment. I'm going to save that, give it a name, holds to pull. And again, I can say where I'd like that to be saved. It's going to ask me if I want to add it to a dashboard. And yet, why not? I'll add it to the test dashboard again. And it's going to pop it in there. And again, I can just shape it to, uh, to a suitable size like that and save the, uh, save the dashboard. I mentioned earlier that as well as dashboards, you can have reports sent out to you automatically, and that's by means of something called a pulse. So you go to this plus create uh, icon here and create a new pulse. So in this case, uh, I'd like to 
send that holds to pull report that I've just created. Um, I'm going to save the, the, the pulse in my personal collection uh, and I'm going to find that um, holds to pull. There it is. Uh, report that I've just, as the data, uh, that I just created. Um, and I'm going to choose to send that. I could send it via email to myself or I'm going to send it via Slack uh, to uh, myself. And I'll get a regular uh, Slack message every hour uh, telling me what the latest holds to pull are uh, if I set that up. So that's a very quick whistle stop tour of MetaBase. I hope you've enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in hearing more about this system, then please contact us at PTFS Europe.